Poem number 82 of the Collected Poems of Rupert Brooke Read for LibriVox.org by Graham Redman The Old Vicarage, Grantchester Café des Vestens, Berlin, May 1912 Just now the lilac is in bloom all before my little room, and in my flower-beds, I think, smile the carnation and the pink. And down the borders well I know the poppy and the pansy blow. Oh, there the chestnuts, summer through beside the river, make for you a tunnel of green gloom, and sleep deeply above, and green and deep the stream mysterious glides beneath, green as a dream and deep as death. Oh, damn, I know it, and I know how the Mayfields all golden show, and when the day is young and sweet, gild gloriously the bare feet that run to bathe. Do lieber Gott. Here am I sweating sick and hot, and there the shadowed waters fresh lean up to embrace the naked flesh. Temperamentful German Jews drink beer around, And there the dews are soft beneath a morn of gold. Here tulips bloom as they are told. Unkempt about those hedges blows an English unofficial rose, And there the unregulated sun slopes down to rest when day is done, and wakes a vague, unpunctual star, a slippered Hesper. And there are meads towards Hazlingfield and Coton, where das betretens not verboten. I think mean. Would I were in Grantchester, in Grantchester. Some, it may be, can get in touch with nature there, or earth, or such. And clever modern men have seen a fawn a peeping through the green, and felt the classics were not dead to glimpse a naiad's reedy head or hear the goat foot piping low. But these are things I do not know. I only know that you may lie day long and watch the Cambridge sky and, flower-lulled in sleepy grass, hear the cool lapse of hours pass, until the centuries blend and blur, in Grantchester, in Grantchester. Still, in the dawn-lit waters cool, his ghostly lordship swims his pool, and tries the strokes, essays the tricks, long learnt on Hellespont or Styx. Dan Chaucer hears his river still chatter beneath a phantom mill. Tennyson notes, with studious eye, how Cambridge waters hurry by. And in that garden, black and white, creep whispers through the grass all night, and spectral dance before the dawn a hundred vicars down the lawn, curates long dust, will come and go on lissom, clerical, printless toe, and oft between the boughs is seen the sly shade of a rural dean, till at a shiver in the skies, vanishing with satanic cries, the prim ecclesiastic rout leaves but a startled sleeper out, grey heavens, the first bird's drowsy calls, the falling house that never falls. God, I will pack and take a train, and get me to England once again. For England's the one land I know where men with splendid hearts may go, and Cambridgeshire of all England the shire for men who understand, and of that district I prefer the lovely hamlet Grantchester. For Cambridge people rarely smile, being urban, squat, and packed with guile. And Royston men in the far south are black and fierce and strange of mouth. At over they fling oaths at one, and worse than oaths at Trumpington, 
and ditton girls are mean and dirty and there's none in harston under thirty and folks in shelford and those parts have twisted lips and twisted hearts and barton men make cockney rhymes and cotons full of nameless crimes and things are done you'd not believe at maddingly on christmas eve strong men have run for miles and miles when one from cherry hinton smiles strong men have blanched and shot their wives rather than send them to st ives strong men have cried like babes by dam to hear what happened at babraham but grantchester ah grantchester there's peace and holy quiet there great clouds along pacific skies and men and women with straight eyes lithe children lovelier than a dream a bosky wood a slumbrous stream and little kindly winds that creep round twilight corners half asleep in grantchester their skins are white they bathe by day they bathe by night the women there do all they ought the men observe the rules of thought they love the good they worship truth they laugh uproariously in youth and when they get to feeling old they up and shoot themselves i'm told ah god to see the branches stir across the moon at grantchester to smell the thrilling sweet and rotten unforgettable unforgotten river smell and hear the breeze sobbing in the little trees say do the elm clumps greatly stand still guardians of that holy land the chestnuts shade in reverend dream the yet unacademic stream is dawn a secret shy and cold and a diomene silver gold and sunset still a golden sea from hazling fields to maddingly and after ere the night is born do hares come out about the corn oh is the water sweet and cool gentle and brown above the pool and laughs the immortal river still under the mill under the mill say is there beauty yet to find and certainty and quiet kind deep meadows yet for to forget the lies and truths and pain oh yet stands the church clock at ten to three and is there honey still for tea End of poem number 82, The Old Vicarage, Grantchester, from the collected poems of Rupert Brooke. This recording is in the public domain.